Hey, listen, um, yesterday I told all the homies I was going to stay out of everybody's business. You know what I'm saying? I lied. Did he? Did he? I just seen that video. You was a bitch ass. And I hope. Take that, take that, take that. I hope <laughs> if whatever happens to you, happens to you. Huh? I hope Big Freddy and Debo Eddie strap your ass down in a penitentiary Betty. And I hope don't nobody come help your motherfucking ass. Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest and most shocking updates from the world of hip hop. Today, we're diving into a story that's shaking the industry to its core. Sean Diddy Combs is facing severe backlash after disturbing footage of him assaulting his ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, has surfaced. The video, obtained by CNN, shows a distressing scene from 2016 at the LA Intercontinental Hotel. Diddy is seen chasing Cassie as she attempts to flee to the elevators. What happens next is shocking, Diddy slams Cassie to the ground, stomps on her, and pulls her hair in a brutal assault. 50 Cent, known for his biting humor and social media presence, took a more serious tone this time. He didn't resort to his usual jokes but instead made a sarcastic jab at Diddy's legal team, suggesting the entire situation had Maury vibes. Interestingly, 50 Cent is also working on a documentary about Diddy, which adds another layer to his perspective on this incident. Bobby Shmurda didn't hold back his anger. Enough is enough, guys. You gotta stop beating the bitches, bro. Y'all old being, bro. Y'all old being, bro. Bro, y'all is celebrities, bro. Let me tell you why I come from, bro. Y'all celebrities, first of all, bro. In the hoe, was a bitch come make us hit up. No bitch can't make go crazy, bro. Y'all got bitches pussy making y'all go crazy, bro. Fuck is wrong with y'all, bro? Punch on y'all niggas, y'all fucking head, bro. Y'all got bitches making y'all go crazy, bro. Y'all crazy, bro. Why? In the, I'm sorry for calling her, bitch. Why would you, in the hell would you put your hands on a female, bro? Especially when you a multi-millionaire. Fuck even if you a multi-millionaire. Point blank, period. No female should make you go crazy, bro. I've been in jail six years. I had girls going crazy over me. I still got my ex chasing me for fucking 2015. Bitch got twins all type shit. Get your ass out of here. You understand what I'm saying, bro? Y'all cannot make this it's shit. Still is, calling. Still calling. Okay. Like, I'm sorry, like, like this shit is, drives me crazy, bro. Y'all is too high as statues. Got nieces and nephews, I mean, nieces and daughters out here. Y'all hitting bitches, y'all doing this on camera. These little is looking up to y'all. Then they gonna start dragging y'all. Y'all females, stop asking these for money. Cause when y'all ask these for money, they feel entitled. You understand? And y'all stop giving a girl money. If a girl been on this earth 20, fucking, I mean, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, two decades, three decades, and she ain't got shit, that means she ain't about shit. You understand what I'm saying? So you leave that alone. You leave that alone. And y'all just getting y'all feelings when y'all start giving girls money. And then y'all feel attached and y'all putting your hands on them. Y'all getting locked up. And then these little is looking up to y'all that go to school. And they start putting their hands on their girlfriends. And day room, bro. You gotta stop this shit, bro. For real, bro. Like, on some real gangster shit, bro. Where they do that at? I don't know, Where? You tell me where they do that at? A bitch disrespect? Bye. I keep so much bitches out all day. This bitch, I charge me some. Bitch, go. Bye. He criticized Diddy harshly for his lack of restraint, pointing out that no amount of wealth or success justifies such behavior. Schmurda's passionate response highlights the growing frustration within the community. Wack 100, the manager of Blueface and the game, was particularly enraged by the video. He called for extreme measures against Diddy, even suggesting that prison inmates should assault Diddy if he were to be incarcerated. Wack also vowed to push Diddy out of the hip-hop culture for good, reflecting the intense backlash. Grammy award-winning singer Jonta Austin matched Wack's energy, condemning Diddy's actions. Meanwhile, Safari revealed that the video left him triggered due to personal childhood experiences, although he didn't go into details. Their reactions further emphasize the widespread condemnation from the hip-hop community. Interestingly, not everyone has turned against Diddy. The neighborhood talk captured several high-profile supporters, including Busta Rhymes, Dion Cole, and RHOA star Peter Thomas, who responded to Diddy's cryptic Time Will Tell caption. That shit, listen, you's a bitch ass Diddy. You know, I, I told him I was gonna stay my, my business, but I lied. 
Not only did I lie, right? I'm finna get in everybody business. For the next 48 hours, it's a blitz. I'm going to my war chest. I'm pulling every motherfucking thing out. And I got some shit. Y'all stay tuned. But Diddy, you did this shit. You know, use a bitch ass Diddy. It's going down. It's going down. Tune in to the 100 show. We launching next week. All independent artists, tap in with Love and R&B. Hit them motherfucking uh, Christopher Lovejoy. Hit his back channels. I'm going to put up a post for y'all probably next day or so. We launching some shit for the indie artists. But Diddy, use a bitch ass. These comments have sparked further debate about loyalty and accountability within the community. As the hip-hop community continues to grapple with the fallout from this video, the question remains, what's next for Diddy? Will he face legal consequences? And how will this affect his legacy in the music industry? One thing is clear, the public distancing from Diddy is in full swing, and the calls for accountability are growing louder. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, so you never miss a story. We'll see you in the next video.